I connected my furnace to a car battery to run during a power outage. Stay tuned so that you can learn how to keep your home warm and your family safe during a power outage. This is a standard furnace that is being used in a residential area. First take the top and bottom panels off of the furnace to access the electrical box. There are three wires connected to the furnace. White being neutral, black is hot, and green is ground. I connected a watt meter in series with the furnace to measure the power usage of the furnace. I turned up the thermostat to allow the furnace to turn on. In order for the furnace to turn on with the paneling off, the safety switch has to be pressed on. First, the igniter coil has to get red hot before the natural gas turns on. After the igniter coil turns off and the blower turns on, it looks like it is using around 660 watts. I am connecting a 1000 watt inverter to a 12 volt standard car battery. The inverter will step up the voltage from 12 volts DC to 112 volts AC so that the furnace can be powered. In a real life scenario, the furnace will cycle between on and off. It will not stay on non-stop. The runtime depends on the size of the furnace, the size of the battery, and the climate of your location. With this particular car battery, the furnace can run non-stop for 90 minutes. But with cycling on and off, it can last a lot longer. You can also use a deep cycle battery that can store up more energy equal to several car batteries combined. That would prolong the runtime on your furnace. The battery can easily be recharged through a solar panel and a battery regulator like this one. Or you can simply connect the battery to an automobile and charge it with the alternator. If you've made it to this point in the video, please subscribe to the channel as it helps support me make new videos just like this one.